Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Nest.js. Today we are going to discuss about the interceptors and the middleware. What's the difference between them? Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. Interceptors and the middlewares are both powerful tools in the Nest.js for manipulating the request response flow in your application, but they are distant differences. What is that distant differences? Middleware. Purpose primarily used for the global level operations like logging, authentication, authorization, cooking handling, or course configuration. Execution runs sequentially in the order they are registered. Think of its checkpoints along the request journey. Like suppose, uh, take an example of the logging process. So whenever there is a request, like get requ any of or the routing when we do the routing in the nest so every routing i want to log something so there is a method that you can do apply like this one consumer apply logging middleware for all routes so you can add this one like scope can be applied globally for the entire application or specifically for the specific routes you can do assess has access to the raw request response objects allowing in-depth manipulation okay then we have the limitations cannot directly modify or transform controller handler responses okay make sure of that one then we have a uh, interceptors so what the use of the interceptor primarily used for the bi-directional data transformation manipulating both incoming request outgoing responses also used for implementing cross-cutting concerns like logging caching error handling at the controller level okay then we have execution intercept the handler invocation itself running before and after the handler executes okay so before and after if i go to the terminal here you can say before and the after okay then it logs next we have a scope can be applied at the controller level okay scope is can be applied to the controller level method level or the globally assess has the assess to the handler execution context including the request response and the controller arguments capabilities can directly modify or transform the data before it reaches to the handler and after it's returned by the handler then it allows you to powerful manipulation of the data flow okay so this is the difference now we have the key if these are the use cases now we have a key differences that is focus middleware focuses on the global level operations and the request response manipulation while the interceptors focus on the data transformation cross-cutting concerns at the controller level execution middleware executes sequentially while the interceptors intercept the handler execution itself data access middleware has access to the raw request response objects while the interceptors have the access to the handler execution context transformation Middleware cannot directly modify the handler responses while interceptors can transform both incoming and the outgoing data. Choosing the right tool. So which we have to use. Let's have a use middleware for the global level operations. Request response manipulation and adding checkpoints to the request flow like authentication, authorization, logging. Use interceptors for the data transformation, implementing cross-cutting concerns around the controllers and manipulating both request and the response data. Remember, interceptors and the middlewares can be used together to achieve the complex functionality in your NASJS application. So this is uh, the main concept of the interceptors, why we use and the middlewares. So on the behalf of it, you can use whatever you want, but both are can be used in the NASJS because I, I have always also used the interceptors if I want to do the transformation of my data and if I want something like on the basis of the routes level, then I go with the uh, like middlewares. Okay. So this is the diff key differences. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.